you just go for the fairy tale like the reason to be with someone is the big love the big fairy tale well some others still go for the convenience i my own perspective is that the me the male <laughs> nature is more to go for the convenience in nowadays and the female nature is to still be idealistic about relations hello everyone this is not your perfect yogi welcome to day five of not your perfect vlogmas and i'm getting my ideas as we run because yesterday my video in case you haven't seen it it's about what if you're not where you want to be in life what if you're not uh, you know like career wise family wise what if you're not where where you should be but the question is if you're not should you settle or wait <laughs> From the talks that I've been having with friends lately, I'm just getting some life lessons about um, how people how people see things very differently. I, I get two very different perspectives. Of course, my girlfriend. I'm gonna start with the female uh, perspective of things. Uh, my girlfriends are very much like, you can wait regardless how long you need to wait until you find the right person, until you find the love of your life, until it sparks everywhere, until, you know, like all happens like in a fairy tale. And then there's, <laughs> these are my single girlfriends. And then there's a few other friends that are in relationships that don't talk too much about it. And also on the male perspective, I've, I've noticed a few other people <laughs> that I know in my life that just go for what's there at the moment, go for what's convenient, go for what suits the picture at the moment that we're speaking. Um, and it's more about companionship, it's more about convenience. So today's topic is love versus convenience. What do we go for and what's more important in the end what's what's more important like to have the fairy tale or to have the cozy relationship my opinion is <laughs> is in between worlds and i'll i'll give you my uh my insight into it as well okay so love versus convenience what is it <laughs> What's better? Is it better to just settle for the person that you find next to you at the moment where you need someone? Is it better to build a family on that? Is it better to just wait for the perfect person? And now I'm thinking marriage, but we don't need to talk about marriage. We just said everyone's relationship is individual. So I'm just talking about relationships because if there's one thing, we all kind of long to have someone close to us. If you don't, then that's perfectly fine, but many people do. And then you're wondering what's, what's the best way to go about it. Well, if you think of marriage traditionally, it wasn't a big love type of decision. This thing has probably developed in the last, I don't know, maybe 50 years, not even 50 because even when it's not arranged or it's not um, done because of society norms, marriage used to be done kind of just based on proximity. Proximity was, was the thing. With the internet now, proximity is not the thing anymore. Although I would argue that it's still a thing, but it's not as much because you feel like, oh, the world is mine. I could you know, like go on an app, change my location, be um, uh, finding someone thousands of kilometers uh, across the world, or just like friendly find someone thousands of kilometers across the world, or just move countries and find someone. So it's very different. Proximity is not such an important factor. Convenience is not 
as an important factor as it was before or even more than convenience before i think it was all about people just getting married because families needed to uh, come together families needed to grow you needed security you needed stability and you needed to secure the best relationship network relationship and money relationships uh, between people at one point in time and you needed also like people needed to have familiarity between them so that's why proximity always helped um, and rank and things like that were very important because you wanted people to be kind of on the same level well taking that out of the equation now and I think I need to talk a bit about the male female dynamic because I think this has changed a lot but it has changed more in the female world of course in the male world as well as a repercussion but in the female world I think there was a certain dependency so convenience came from the dependency you know like you kind of needed the other person to get by you know like you kind of need it and as a woman you needed that for status anyways and now when we don't have that I think many and I know many of my friends also that you just go for the fairy tale like the reason to be with someone is the big love the big fairy tale well some others still go for the convenience I my own perspective is that the me the male <laughs> nature is more to go for the convenience in nowadays and the female nature is to still be idealistic about relationships but somewhere in between the truth is you cannot totally go for the fairy tale and you cannot totally go for convenience. only choose the fairy tale and it brings you only heartache and you keep on suffering because of it and it doesn't take you anywhere and it doesn't help you with what you want to achieve in life what you want what your goals are what your vision is what your direction is that fairy tale won't help you so Many times I feel that people that wait too much and just believe in the fairy tale like end up being disappointed. But at the same time, I feel that people that just go for convenience and what's next to them and what's the next possible thing might feel at some point, you know, like they haven't reached their potential. They haven't reached the maximum they can do. So the ideal situation is where you can combine a person that you're compatible with you get along with there's lots of love love is an action anyways this is this is another thing more going towards not only the fairy tale because love love is an action you can choose to put love into something but let's not ignore the aspect that there's just sparks between people there's just instant recognition there's just big open-hearted big love there's um there's things like that and those things that story building on a story that's so powerful helps you get through a lot more in life than building on um yeah then then building on something that doesn't ignite your fire as much so i understand both both um both ways of thinking i just think we as people we need to find the middle ground we need to find where on the scale are we more fairy tale convenience and kind of try to see if i'm too much into one direction is not making me happy kind of bringing it back to the middle ground where um yeah where it matches together so I don't have in a, a final answer guys I just wanted to bring the topic to you I'm curious to know how how do you see it more like love more like convenience where are you on the scale but it's a good topic to talk for day five and tomorrow I'm gonna come back with something a bit more different but until then namaste the light in me is the light in you thank you so much for joining me and yeah subscribe share the vlogmas and share your ideas for future videos also down in the comments thank you